In this video, we're going to talk about using the Flex Scheduler for advisory, and specifically, we're going to talk about creating offerings for Friday Fun Day. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Flex Scheduler. The Flex Scheduler can be found on the MWHS Information and Resources page. The link is right here at the top of the page, and I would recommend that you bookmark that page. So when you click on the Flex Scheduler, the first time it's going to ask you to authenticate or log in. Uh, it did not ask me to authenticate as I've already used it this evening, but what you'll see is a authentication required like this. And what will you'll put in there is your active, active directory login information. This is the student view and we're going to go to staff view. So go ahead and click on staff view. And for you, at the high school, you'll only have the MWHS calendar, uh, but you'll see MWHS and EPASS. And what I'm going to ask you to do is go to the advisory calendar. So this is where we're going to add our offerings. And you can see that I've already added some offerings here. On your page, this will probably be blank until you add offerings, unless you had some from last year. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here where it says edit offerings. And then I'm going to create a new offering. Jen is going to share with you the structure to use for your offering, but you're going to start with the grade that you're offering it for. Later in the year, we may decide to combine 8th and ninth grade, and then you are going to put in a title of what you're offering. And then you're going to give it a short description. And you're going to put your name and your room number. The final thing you're going to do is set the capacity. The capacity should be somewhere between 25 and 30. I'm just going to go ahead and set it here to 30. And then I'm going to create the offering. You can create as many different offerings as you would like, and they just appear for you until you actually put them on the calendar. So this offering I just created, I'm the only one that can see it. And so I can come up and brainstorm with a bunch of different offerings, and then when I'm ready to put them on the calendar, I'm going to go to this button here that says Edit. And I'm going to select the date and the time that I want to put my offering on. So if I'm an advisor 6A, I would select that for each of the days that I'm gonna offer that offering. And then this is a tricky part. There's no save button, so you actually have to hit update. If I go back into that, I can see here that I have selected those. I can go down to the next month. I could select them throughout the end of the semester if I wanted to. The second thing I'm going to show you is how to see all the other things that have been put on the calendar. So in order to see what other teachers are offering, you're going to go up here to enroll student. And here you can put in any student's name at the high school. It doesn't matter who the student is. And what you'll see then are all the things that are being offered during that 5A period for that student. So this just gives you an idea of what other people are offering and how many students have signed up for those offerings. In the next video, we're going to talk about what students see when they go into the Flex Scheduler and how they'll sign up for an offering and then how you can check the attendance in your offerings on the day of Friday Fun Day. So that covers how to create your offering and then check that it is appearing on the calendar. And I can see that mine is uh, doing that. And then in the next video, like I said, we'll look at a few other things. If you have any questions on the Flex Scheduler or Friday Fun Days, please contact myself or Jen Bormas.